Hello everyone, it's Laurie and I'm back to show you another um, mini album I received in a swap. This one was for the two-part Shabby Chic swap over at Scrappy Happiness and uh, dot, dot Ning and that is associated with uh, Drew Michaels and um, the hostess was Zilvi Wong and the thing was we had to the first part was she gave us a list of things we needed to include um, you know so much um, so many flowers so much of the uh, bling um, such and such chipboard, etc., etc., etc. So she gave us this list, and we chose um, out of our stash what we put in. Then she sent these baggies full of all these goodies to an individual. We, when we got them, we had to make the mini album. Um, we could not let anybody know who we were making it for. We did not know who we were going to receive a mini from and the only thing we knew was who we were sending a mini to. So she called it Angel and Mortal. So um, we were going to receive a mini from our angel and then we were the mortal making one to send to somebody else. If that makes any sense at all and this has been a couple of months and I'm like way behind in taping this so hopefully I'm getting this straight. Um, so I received this from Julie and the only thing we were allowed to do use any paper we wanted but we had to use the supplies given to us no no other supplies and whatever was left over we had to give to the recipient along with the mini album so with that said here's the mini album and this uh, as I said from Julie and, Julie, and she used um, my mind's eye paper, which is really cool because I have the same exact um, pad, so I could add to it if I wanted to, but she did this little, we all got, we pretty much all got the same items, so if you look at other videos of this two-part shabby chic um, swap, you're going to see a lot of similarities because of the list of items she said we had to include to make the minis. So I hope I'm making sense here. It's uh, still morning here and haven't had enough coffee. But anyways, I love these roses. I don't know if these are Prima or I am roses, but I love them. And she did a stick pin up here in the bling. And she did some nice little trim right here. It's very vintage chipboard frame. So, and these are made out of paper bags. So, and uh, I think we were allowed to use paper bag or chipboard. I think that in any paper line we wanted to. And she did a pocket here with a tag. Tea dyed. More roses, a little paper frame here with a stick pin. Another for, uh, photo mat with a tag tucked behind it. And that was the other thing. It was so many tags. And so here's a group of flowers. Yeah, this is. And she didn't do anything in the pockets here, I don't think. This one's empty. And it's. A, um, I'm glad that I have the same paper line because I can make my own tags to put in there, my own. Um, photo maps and such. And again, here's another uh, spot for journaling. This flower, this flower is so pretty. I think it's handmade. Another stick pin. And uh, this one's really pretty too. It's a, a tag hiding behind the, the trim. This is a Kane Company tag. And as we go through these, sometimes I recognize stuff that I've sent. I also received this t as well, and a lot of us received the same color, and I don't remember if colors were specifically mentioned, but it's ironic that pretty much everything we did was the same color. This is a handmade accordion fold flower that she did. And so right down here, this is a flower I sent 
on the bottom here. I can recognize that. Another stick pen. Okay, and company journaling tag. There's another one of my flowers, I believe. I did a lot of purples and pinks, and that's it. And I love how she centered it with a butterfly. It's really pretty. Oh, see these? These little tiny ones. I sent those out to all the girls in the group, too. So that's what's so funny. We, rec we can recognize what we sent and how people incorporated them into the, into the albums. It's really cool. I really, really enjoyed this um, swap because it really made me think outside um, the box and when you can only use specific items it, it, believe it or not it's it's difficult here's another tag that I sent along I love how she did in every corner she did a grouping of flowers with the stick pin it's really cool so lots of room for pictures and journaling I think this is another one of the flowers too love this, this satiny type. It's like binding, it's like a, what do they call it? Um, seam binding. Yeah. And this page, the little clothes pin, journaling spot, again, a stick pin. Really, really pretty. A clothes pin up here to hold the tag. A real pretty tag. I love this trim. It's so pretty. And another handmade flower with a really nice center. Another stick pin. I think we all got supplies to make stick pins. We all got beads and the pins and made our own to add to it. This was an excellent, excellent swap. It took a few months though to get it, you know, by the time we did the one, but it was like three months long. So that's the mini, and along with that, she also made me this box. It's just beautiful. And, look at me, I could put a photo there, and This comes out. I dreamed a dream the other night. Wow. Look at this. Is this beautiful? And there's that one. I'm trying to show you right now. Is that page? And then let's flip it over. Is that one? upside down. And a little tag in the lace pocket. This is so pretty. Oh, Julie, Julie, Julie. And then I can just put some other things in there. And it's like a keepsake box. Oh, I love little decorative boxes. Oh, I just love this. And I'm not going to go through every single one of these, but this is the leftover bag of goodies. So, you know, she sent me, I mean, we sent a lot of stuff, so most of us got a lot of extra goodies. I mean, there's just trim and lace and ribbon and doilies. And transparent stamped images. You know, there was a whole list of things, stamped images, and um, uh, stickers, as long as they went to gaudy, it's a feather, vintage style paper, here are all the flowers that were left over, saw that, and there's another feather, and all kinds of metal embellishments, bling, three-dimensional stickers, extra stick pins, 
that's enough there to make a few more minis. So that was the two pot shabby chic mini swap over at Scrappy Happiness. And I'm glad, so happy that I participated because I love all this stuff. And again, Julie, thank you for doing this for me. And ladies, come back again because I'm going to do a video of my travel log that's been on the road for six months. Thank you again. Bye.